I'm not gonna lie to you, I have an assignment to do and also Ireland has the highest infection rate in the world right now of coronavirus. Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> Don't put that in, you're gonna fail for it. <laughs> okay, so it's like nearly midnight and I haven't eaten any of my Sunday sweets yet. So I'm gonna go downstairs and mong them into me. You can actually hear Alex and listen to the video I've just uploaded. <laughs> What you watching? Nothing. Alex doesn't actually watch my videos before they go live. He trusts me to just put them up and not get them in the shower in the background. <laughs> that hasn't gone very well. I won't be able to eat all these sweets now in the next half hour. I'm going to have to prioritize which ones I want to eat. I will yield my time back to the gentleman from Ohio. My questions are, how do they all know where each other's from? Because it's all the gentleman from Arizona, the gen gentlewoman from wherever. Also, love gentlewoman. Also, how do they get to yield back their time when they've already spoken? That seems... I have spoken. I'm not going to lie to you. I have an assignment to do. And also, Ireland has the highest infection rate in the world right now of coronavirus. So, a little preoccupied with us right now. Sorry. This is fun and all, watching some someone just count up 30 seconds over and over. But I'll tune in later for the results. I don't need to see how this pasta is made. <laughs> Alex is much more interested in this than I am. Uh, Only the second president ever in history to get. Sorry, first president ever in history to get. Uh, so what I'm saying is that he's not wrong. It is history, but I'm fed up living through history. <laughs> Real sick of it. Maybe, like, I would actually just be happy to have a boring year. Filled with nothing memorable. <laughs> no pandemics, no double impeachment, no riots, no nothing. That'd be great. We've just witnessed a truly solemn moment in American history. The House of Representatives has reached the threshold for making Donald J. Trump the only president of the United States to be impeached for a second time. What's really funny to me is the they're like, it's a bipartisan effort. It's like 10 Republicans, <laughs> like 215 Democrats, like real bipartisan. I know it's technically bipartisan, but like I would understand bipartisan to mean much more cooperation than 10. You managed to convince 10 out of how many? 200 and something? So I need to get back to my assignment now, but one thing we were just talking about there is that it is mad how they all give their opinion on the news. Our news is not perfect, they invite on talking heads for balance, who are like, awful. But the actual news readers never give their opinion on stuff. Now there's the argument that sometimes the opinions leak out in who they decide to cover and who they don't decide to cover, but at least they don't give their opinion on the news. and. When we're watching CNN or when we watch Fox, and the reason, by the way, CNN is on our TVs, so it's much easier to watch. If we want to watch Fox, we have to like open up. Alex has to find it online and stuff. I just can't get over how legally. different legally we, sure. live, we live stream it on YouTube. It's just mad how they all give their opinions willy lily. I remember watching good American news when I was a kid, and your man presented it. Dan Rather reporting. He was like the actual anchor man. He probably did this as well, you just didn't notice. He's probably just on a TV station we don't have. That's true. This is the problem with eating your food at low level. You've got this beggar. Alex hit his head. Are you feeling alright? Yeah, so Claire said uh, not to do that and then I did it. And then she hit me over the head with a hammer. Alexander, that's not... But that's not what happened. You told me not to tell him. Alex got up to... Alex was cleaning out a drawer and whatever and he got up too fast and he smacked his head off the top drawer and has given himself a concussion and now is pretending that I hit him. That's not funny, Alex. He's giving himself a big welt on the side of his head and concussion. We'll keep you up to date with how he is. Trying to keep him awake for a couple hours in case he has a concussion. I think I have an eye infection. Look, I read my inside of my eye. Great, I'm going to get an eye infection too. Yeah, I'm going to rub it all over you. It's going to get right, rub my face right on yours. And then just 
dab it all over the place. Yeah. That's what you do when you have an iron face. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do as well. We're having an argument about one of the politicians, surname is Axelrod, and Alex is saying, huh, if I had a son, I'd call him Axel Axelrod. And then, no, you want to call him Rod Axelrod. And then they'd be like, then he'd have to be a porn star. And I'm like, no, if you wanted your son to be a porn star, you'd call him Dick Axelrod, obviously. Big Dick XXX Axelrod. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> The re resolution is adopted without objection. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. All right, so mm -hmm. Speaker Pelosi has just gaveled the vote down, and uh, the motion has passed. President Trump uh, becomes the uh, first president in the history of this republic to be impeached twice. The president 232, vote. yeah! <laughs> that president go definitely comes uh, across wrong. <laughs> 232, yeah! Woo! A reporter on TV just called Trump the liar in chief. That is bananas. That would just never happen here. Like I'd only go no matter no matter what they did, it'd be like they're calling for his resignation or whatever, but they'd never go on TV and call call someone a liar in G. Fuck in hell. I fought the hardest I've fought in a while now not to go training tonight. And Alex bribed me by saying I could wear his new Raiders hat if I went. Very nice. And it's been on the radiator. It's a very nice hat, it's very comfy. And I match my outfit to it, black and white. Don't have it's any nice. silver. nice, you are a Raider and I am, not sure, Detroit Lion. Detroit, Blue Lions, is that Detroit, Detroit Lions? Lion. Barry Sanders in uh, Madden 96 was an absolute superstar. Okay, he's also wearing the Japan jersey from when we were in Japan. So I stopped at Parson Motel on the way home because the only th good thing to come out of my Depop shop so far is that I ordered something else on it. Came across this Mayo GA jacket and it's kid size and I ordered it. That actually fits so perfect. Yes, it's kid size. Fits perfectly. I'm going to buy a Jacksonville Jaguars version of this because since they're the NFL team that like is in the UK for half their season, normally, I was thinking I might start supporting them. That's some hair you got going on there. We went to a Jacksonville Jaguars game before. I've put a vlog up there somewhere. And it was brilliant, brilliant crack. I surprised Alex with the tickets. Best girlfriend ever. Haven't done anything quite as nice since I became his wife. Don't have to try anymore. <laughs> do you know how to get the Mac to wake up? Do you do this? Yeah, that worked. <laughs> that actually hit your heart. <laughs> Okay, you have carried a fair play to you. Oh, it didn't look like this when I last saw it. So now you're no longer victim blaming me for my computer not working. Yeah, we... My desktop is clear. Some days ago it was not clear. That's not true, it's been like that for weeks. That's how they do it. <laughs> it's not this width. Way. Yeah, it's not oh, width yeah. of the screen. That's how they measure it. <laughs> Sneak peek in my room, look at this. I haven't shown this room yet. There's the computer that you're meant to sort out a while ago. Alexander, what are we in? Level 5 nationwide lockdown. Do you think that computers, computer places are open so they can get my shit off the hard drives? Maybe he's eating off your plate downstairs. So my computer's acting up again and I'm having difficulty exporting the podcast and it has to go up tonight at 9. That's totally fine. It's 7pm now. It's fine. I can't wait to get my new computer. I sat down with Alex last night and we went through all of the options and we figured out what the best option for me going forward is. And I have decided on what I've decided and I'm actually not going to tell you because everyone's going to tell me that I need to do something else because that's what people do. When you say I'm doing A, they go, you should do B. And I can't take that level of options. <laughs> it's taken me nearly three weeks to figure out what kind of computer I want to go with. I've decided now. Okay, so it's now half nine. I'm just about to get the podcast live. I'm listening to the H3 podcast live in my, their live episode in my ear. And I have a glass of blue WKD to get me through. Do you know, all week I thought I'd lost this camera and I just found it. So it was on this tripod and I had pushed this light over in front of it. He couldn't see that the camera was on the tripod. So I was just going around the house and be like, where's the camera? This week has been a wild one. Like, we get it, we get it, okay? Trump got impeached a second time in America. But you know what? How come you never ask about us? How come you never ask about how Ireland's doing? We are the highest in the world 
If we're rate of COVID infections right now, we're number one. We're number one. We're number one. Also, the mother and baby home report was released this week. I'm sure you've seen the film Magdalene Laundries. That was a real thing in Ireland. Unmarried, pregnant women were sent to their penitentiary workhouses to work until they gave birth, at which case the child was taken from them and put up for adoption. In some cases sold to the highest American bidder, oftentimes adopted outside of Ireland. Most often the paperwork was either really badly done or non-existent because they didn't want these women trying to track down these children. So that's her horrendous and horrific blight on our history. And the report that was released this week said that also on top of that, on top of all of that awfulness, 9,000 babies died in those homes over the period that they were in operation and it had details on like the kind of torture the women were put through like for example they were mocked while they were giving birth and they'd have to like give birth with no drugs with no help while they're being mocked by nuns it's just it's too much it's too much frankly it's too much I'm reading a book. It's actually the book that I got from the book resort at that time. So the book resort is an Irish book subscription company and they sent me a free box. I got a book in it that was a fiction story about this woman trying to track down children who were born in a mother and baby home that she worked in. And it's really good. I actually, even for Christmas, got a second one. It's also, it's another fiction book about a similar story. Unfortunately, the fiction is based on fact which is a bit shit, but anyway. It was a really good week in Ireland for climate and biodiversity news, and I wanna say shout out to Kale Crossan on Twitter for this information. I'll put the link to the thread down in the description. Last Monday, Ireland signed up to an international coalition to protect almost a third of land and sea. I don't know how they're going to do that. The day before yesterday, there was a big department announcement. Micro-generated electricity will be able to be sold back to the grid by July, 2021. Then it came out the plans to import fracked gas through the port of Cork have been scrapped, which is great news. Quote, we know we have to make the transition to a low carbon economy, but fracking and all of its effects has no place in that. Hell yes. And then we also got word that Board Namona has ended its peat extraction. The last full peat extraction took place in 2018 and a full suspension of the practice came into effect last year. Now, I don't know why peat extraction is bad, but I'm happy it's ended. So now that we've gone through what we've been up to, how are you getting on America? Any news? So for the masks me and Lorraine made, I've misplaced the pink one, which I am raging about. I'm trying to rip the house apart to find it. But Lorraine actually sent me the navy one and it is beautiful. Would you look? <gasps> oh my god. And it's like, you can see the glitter straight away. When you come closer then is when you see the pattern. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh, I love it so much. I need to find my pink one. These masks all sold out quite quickly. A good few people have asked Lorraine if she can do another run. Which she can, but the problem is we have to see if we can get the material. Because everything is closed right now. So yeah, it's been a busy week. On top of that, of course, I have an assignment that is due on Monday. Today is Saturday. I have not it finished yet. That's what tomorrow is for. <laughs> Actually, last night, Alex and I played Rugby 15 on the PS4. We'd never played it before. And it was so funny. Alex is so bad at it at first. Couldn't get, like the controls are so complicated and he couldn't get the hang of it. And he got real pissy when he was like, when I was hammering him because I picked up the controls quicker. But then as soon as he figured out how the controls worked, he just <laughs> smashed me. But it was really funny for those like 20 minutes that I was killing him and he was getting so narky. It was brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please consider becoming a patron. That's how I support this. For the patrons as well, I've got some exclusive content coming up. I've got some bloopers, PO Box video, and that other video that you requested. <laughs> and yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Sounds on.